My name is Neil Malik. I'm from Mac Training. And today on Everyday Office, we're going to talk about org chart layouts. So at the beginning of March, I'll be going to Tucson and presenting several sessions at the IAAP's Tech 17 conference. And one of those sessions is about how to manage and use Visio effectively. And I find far too many people when faced with a situation like this one, where you have an org chart that you've built, but you realize that there's just too much going on, they often will just click and drag and click and drag and click and drag and click and drag for like the next eight hours until everything is laid out perfectly. And they don't know that actually Microsoft gives you tons of different layout options that you can use with just button clicks. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to start off with the manager up at the top of the org chart. Just click directly on the top of the org chart. And then on the org chart tab at the top of the screen, I see that there's a layout drop down menu. Now what this does is it says, everybody underneath this executive is going to be laid out in this way. So for instance, I could decide to lay everybody out underneath that executive in a, a cross way. What's this one actually called? This one's called centered, right? Or I could say, oh, lay them out starting uh, from the left and going to the right. And you can see there that it automatically shifts the people who are underneath that executive position. So I'll go back to centered here. Now I need to go to the managers that are underneath that executive. I'll click on the first person in that level and I can decide again to center it so I can lay those people out horizontally across or I can do sort of hanging on the side or I can do hanging to both sides. And again, I'm clicking on the different managers, choosing a layout, clicking on a manager, choosing a layout, clicking on a manager, choosing a layout. And then I can go back up to the executive and watch what happens when I tell it to center again. Because I've laid out all of those people underneath the executive, it goes ahead and gives me extra spacing between the different managers who report to the executive. Look how clean that is already. And of course, I can do a ton of things to it from here. But recognize that just by using that layout drop-down menu, you can get basically everything you want with absolutely no effort on your part at all.